ready to the morning. Holy shit. Sheesh! Alright. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Austin Lewis here. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are brand new here, make sure and drop in the comment section down below. Let everybody know that you're brand new here because other people will go subscribe to you. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me, then make sure and go smash the subscribe button. If you guys haven't already, make sure and thumbs up this video before we get into it because you guys saw the title and the thumbnail. Today we're actually in the a and Show podcast studio. I actually got my good friend Noah Abraham here. His last name's not Abraham. It's Brandon, but we're gonna call him Abraham just for the sake of this video. He's a solid dude. He actually works uh, with us on our real estate side of things. Last minute, I said, yo, Noah, you wanna come enjoy some orange juice? He's got some orange juice in his cup. I said, you know, we might as well go ahead and uh, give it to you guys straight on what our thoughts are in, in terms of reacting to the legend, as some may call him, Noah. Dan Bilzerian. Dan Bilzerian. Ladies and gentlemen, this is actually Noah's first debut on my personal YouTube channel and on any social media <laughs> platform actually known to man. So uh, if you guys see Noah get red in the face, that's probably the reason why he hasn't done anything but send selfies to his mom as well as his grandma his entire 21 years. You're 21, right? I uh, am, yeah, but uh, Lou, I think you, uh, okay. you forgot my fitness account. Oh, that's right, fitness yeah. account. So if you guys aren't looking at his abs or looking at his glutes, you are looking at absolutely nothing of Noah Abraham Branham. Uh, but today, he's popping in on YouTube to give you guys his thoughts on Dan Bilzerian. So just out of the blue here, Mr. Noah, and I'm going to ask you this question. We didn't rehearse nothing. We just walked in here. We said, you know what? Let's pop on these sure mics. Let's have some orange juice. Let's talk to the YouTube community. What are your thoughts on Dan Bilzerian? Just give it to me straight. Give it to me what you thought of way back in 2016, because I'm sure 2016 versus 2020 had a different uh, outlook on what it is that he is, who yeah. he is, and things like that. What do you think of this movie? I think he is the modern day Hugh Hefner. Everybody says it, um, but that's honestly who I think of when I think of when I think of Playboy magazines. I kind of think of Dan. I don't think of Hugh anymore. Okay. Um, He's getting exposed quite a bit recently. Yes. Yeah. Have you been have you kept yes. up on that? Yes, of course. We're talking about it today. He pulls a lot of women, but a lot of them are on payroll. So, yeah. <laughs> makes you wonder, you know what I mean? Are these girls just there to, uh, you know, or are they there? Uh... <laughs> we'll have to exit that out of YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what he just shared with you is not going to be posted on YouTube. But anyways, go back to it, Noah. Yeah, so are they there for that, or are they there for the money, you okay. know, and that status? Yeah. Um, you're, you're an eight-night girl, you know what I mean? That's yeah. what they want to be, oh my gosh. For sure. Now, I guess I got a question for you. Do you think that they want the Ignite model status because it's going to bring them more followers? Or do you think that it's going to bring them more brand deals? Because that's something I am you know, very familiar about is, is brand deals, right? Like these individuals, whether it's guy or girl, get in touch with some, you know, famous celebrities as Dan Bilzerian is actually a famous celebrity in movies and all sorts of such. 32.6 million followers on Instagram, as you guys can see behind me here. I actually followed Dan when he had like one or two million followers on Instagram, which is quite insane. To see him be at 32 and a half is insane. But, you know, sales at the end of the day and uh, you know do you so what is your thought on that at the end of the day do you think that they want the ignite status because of the brand deals because of the potential and the branding that it does for them or do you think they just want the status quo for right now because I'll be honest with you when you look at a lot of this stuff right like man at the end of the day like they're stoked to go to the parties they're stoked to, to fly the private jets they're stoked to go on the vacations what are your thoughts my thoughts are they're there for the followers which are then going to bring the brand deals if they ever leave dan um you know what i mean like dan's not going to be there forever um and so they're there just to kind of get that clout so to speak yeah and then they can go off and do their own thing they can find the next band or for the, sure or whatever um, but I mean, you know, the private jets and the parties are, are a plus. So that's that's my thoughts on it. Okay, cool, interesting. Here's what, based on what you just said here, right, guys? And we got uh, Dan's Instagram pulled up behind us on uh, the actual TV. And if anybody is curious, that's uh, our, our next camera. So if you ever guys come want to come into our office here, I see, touch, smell, and hear everything that you guys do. Anyways, what do you think the retention is on this, right? Because if you look, if you just scroll past this, right? 
And I'm unbiased about this entire situation, right? I mean, I, I don't follow Dan Bilzerian. Um, I mean, I follow him without following him. Like Tyler Reshore behind this, guys, he follows him. <laughs> okay, at the end of the day. So, but I'm just looking at, at this, right? And, and you'll see like different faces, right? It's a different girl every time. Yeah. What, what, so what's the retention got to be on that? Do you think he just, I mean, you know, he, he came out, he came out, um, when he launches, he launched his Ignite deal and said he's going to offer a hundred thousand dollars a year for 10 models, which is a million bucks a year. You know, I still think this cat is absolutely legendary. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this cat's dope. I don't like cats, but his cat is dope. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know what I mean? I, I forget what the name is for it, but it's the litter box. It's a Louis Vuitton. It's a Louis oh, Vuitton Louis. litter box. Oh, <laughs> but it's Dan Blazin, guys. Um, Did you notice that Dan wears literally a white t shirt in every one of his pictures? Yeah. Like white t shirt, colored shorts. He's a simple guy, man. Very basic. You know what I mean? Where's 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 Dan Bilzerian actually from? Like uh, uh, originally, where is Dan B? He's from Tampa, Florida. So he was b born on December seventh, nineteen eighty, in Tampa, Florida. So here's 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 my thoughts on Dammy. Okay, we just had talked about retention. So you don't think the retention is pretty high? You think it's pretty low? You think it's a new girl every time, or what? Or every week, or every month, or what? Do you, what do you think it is? Every couple weeks. Okay. I think it's he gets tired of it. And it's yeah. On the next. Just goes on to the next. Here's my thoughts on Dan B, right? Dan B is a phenomenal marketer. Dan B is a brilliant business man. Again, it all just depends on what your goal is at the end of the day and what it is that you're trying to do, right? Like as you know, Noah said, you know, Noah Abraham here at the beginning of the show, the episode here uh, said, you know, he's like the, the 2020 version of Hugh Hefner. And guys, it's safe to say that this this is the 2020 version of Hugh Hefner. Now, the only difference is he's just doing it a little bit different. You know, rather than having the Playboy house, right? He's got the house, and he or, or, or Playboy Mansion, excuse me. Rather than having the Playboy Mansion, he's got the Playboy Mansion, but it's the Dan Bilzerian Mansion, and he's starting comp companies left and right. So in terms of marketing, he's done exactly what he needs to do. He's done exactly why he's got to where he is today. And you know, some people, you know, like, as you said, like there's a lot of articles out there that are, 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 are grief, that are, that are, you know, naming some bad things based on what it is that he's doing. But at the end of the day, I think, here, here's what's so in incredible to me, okay? And this is phenomenal actually to talk to Noah specifically about this. Now, if Noah knows a damn about it, I mean, I guess we'll see. Tyler Reshore, he'd have absolutely no idea if I asked him this question, but the question is going to be to Noah, okay? And this is what you guys wanted to stay tuned to the very end of this video. If you guys want me to pop this question, this is the most important question you guys have ever heard in your entire life. You guys need to make sure and smash the thumbs up button on this video. Noah needs to get nervous because he's going to ask a question he's never answered his entire life, ladies and gentlemen. As you guys can see, he's sweating. His cheeks are getting red because that's what Noah does when he does not got a white claw or a truly, <laughs> truly in lemonade. his hand. Truly lemonade, you know what I mean? But we got OJ. The question B, are you ready for this? Because we talking about damn B here. The question Noah is going to be, do you think something X and Y equals what? Okay, I'm gonna give you guys what X and Y actually is. Tyler's like, I got no idea what you're about to ask this guy. <laughs> X is, do you think it is more important to have the clout, to have people know who you are at the end of the day, regardless of where you go, whether you fly private or you fly commercial, whether you drive down Rodeo Drive or you dive down the Dale, do you think it's more important to have that? Or do you think it's more important for Dan B to take Ignite into a very traditional type of business. What do you think is more important, just out of curiosity? I think it completely comes down to where his goal is. Like, if he wants if he wants people to keep knowing about him, okay. blow it up on Instagram, YouTube, the whole thing, keep the parties going. If he wants to take it night to like the next level, yeah. he needs to start bringing in you know, professionals to give him more business advice just because there's a lot of stuff coming out and you know, they're just saying that he's spending all his investors' money and who any news is, is good news. You sure. know, good or bad good. at the end of the there's day. There's no such thing as bad publicity, There buddy. is not, no. So I think it's just where his mind's at right now. Cool. Um, if he wants to keep uh, you know, messing around with all these girls and kind of tanking ignite, 
drive the Bugatti, drive the Lambo down the day, who cares? But if it's time to get serious, bring professional in. Yeah, I like it, bro. Here's what I found about 2020 is somebody's uh, phone's ringing, and that actually happens to be mine. Let's answer this. This is my sister. Let's see if we can get her on camera. Sis, say hi! <laughs> What's up, buddy? Hey! You're on, you're on the a and show. Well, you're not on the a and show. You're on my personal right now, actually, as we speak. Okay, I'll just need the Xbox password. Yeah, so jump, jumping back to it, right? Um, Dan Bozerian, this, that, and the third, right? I mean, I... I mean, you, you did the party, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I did, it, I did it differently than he did it. In what way? Like, marketing-wise? Yeah, marketing. Marketing. He, he, I think he's brilliant. I think he's brilliant. I think he's phenomenal for all of the bad press talking about how Ignite makes no money. The, the branding that he does is substantially phenomenal because he doesn't really care if he's got bad press. And, 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 no, and nothing ever matters if you have bad press. All it does is just share it to more people. Because I think 2020, I think 2021, more importantly going into 2021 because nobody wants to talk about 2020 anymore, is... is you need to have more people know who you are, know what it is, whether you fly private or you fly for commercial, it doesn't really matter. More, more exposure in today's world it will change your life, right? And we've talked about this multiple times. I said, hey, more people knew that you were in real estate. If more people knew that you did wholesaling. If more people knew that you could give them, buy deals, you could give them a certain number for their dollar a house. You'd be doing more deals, right? And that's what it is in 2021. That's what it's going to be for the next. Honestly, I think that's what it's going to be for eternity. The more people that have more exposure on who they are, what they are, where they come from, and more importantly, their brand, it's game over. He doesn't give a shit that Ignite is. He doesn't give a crap that Ignite is minus 100 million bucks or 200 million bucks or 300 million bucks or 50 million bucks. He don't care. He's fine with it. Why? Because more people talk about it. More people like me that don't follow Dan Bozerian got him up on my YouTube channel scrolling, but I'm talking about him on my YouTube channel. So to say that this video gets 577,000 people that have absolutely no idea who Dan Bozerian is, guess what? He's probably going to get 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 followers from this thing. Yeah, and the girls thirst trap his Instagram. Got exactly. That little follow. Yeah, and he'll ride the train, bro. I, I, it's all about momentum in life, right? We, I saw this guy had a couple million followers on Instagram. Now he's got 32.6 million followers on Instagram. Okay? Anything he touches now turns to gold. Anything he touches turns to gold. Literally. All my friends, they want to they go to the Dan Bilzerian party. They yeah. Don't they want, yeah. They, they want to go. Yeah. They want to go. They want to be like him. They want to they wanna thrive off him. They, they idolize him. You know what I mean? The guy's a stud. I think he's a marketing genius. You know what I mean? That's right. What are your final thoughts? I'd like to meet the cat. More importantly, the women. He's yeah. around. But <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest. <laughs> but, you know, I respect him. Um, yeah. I got nothing against him. I don't, I don't know him personally, so I, you know, I can't talk poorly about him. Not that I would. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, I see your point. But at the same time, I think that if he is going to, you know, grow the company, keep doing what he's doing, but just bring more professionals in that know how to run a business. Cause exactly. I don't know. Yeah. Not gonna agree with you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys haven't already, make sure and smash the thumbs up button on this uh, video because it supposedly helps the YouTube algorithm and Lord knows that I need help with the YouTube algorithm. If you guys haven't already and you guys are brand new here, make sure and come subscribe. I'm gonna go drop Noah Abraham. His name is not Abraham, it's Branham, baby. Branham, okay. In my description in the link below, ladies and gentlemen, go follow his fitness account is what I'm gonna plug because again, it's all about what you look at, and you look at his abs, you look at his biceps, and you'll also look at his triceps. Ladies and gentlemen, Austin Lewis here, Noah Abraham, Noah Branham, saying we'll see you guys in a future YouTube video.